Coming to electronic devices and circuits common to EC and EEE students R20 regulations. This is the previous examination question paper September 2022 regular exam. What are the various questions they are asking uh, for those we answered previously what is meant by doping rectifier like that. Similarly we are going to answer the another type part B questions 5 marks 10 marks questions. What is the use of fourth A1? What is the use of Gina diode as a shunt regulator? Let us see the answer for this. Explain the use of Gina diode as a shunt regulator. Explain the following circuitry barrier diode SBD and photo diode. The Gina diode acts as shunt regulator. Why? First of all, what is voltage regulation? Voltage regulation means making the constant voltage across the load regardless of variation of input voltage or load current. Whatever be the change in voltage, input voltage or input current, the load voltage should be constant that is called regulation. The change in terminal voltage from no load to full load is called voltage regulation. Gina diode especially designed for which is ability to maintain constant voltage across the load. In reverse bias if you connect the Gina diode across the load it acts as voltage regulator. Therefore, Gina diode can be used to provide constant voltage across the load. How it can be used to provide constant voltage across the load? Let us see. Use of Gina diode as a voltage regulator. Let us go for that. Gina diode as voltage regulator. This is the circuit diagram. Gina diode access shunt voltage regulator. Where RL is the load resistance source we connected as uninterrupted input or ups input or input voltage is connected plus and minus the gina diode negative terminal and positive terminal are connected in reverse bias direction the gina diode is reverse connected across reverse bias connected across the input voltage v input where variations are to be regulated Wherever you want to connect Gina diode in opposite direction or reverse bias direction, then it controls the output voltage. Whatever be the input voltage changes, the output voltage should be maintained constant. When Gina diode is connected like this, the voltage input voltage is connected across Gina diode. The output voltage of Gina diode is equal to Gina diode voltage and is equal to regulated output voltage V0. V0 equal to Vz. This is the first mode of operation of Gina diode when the, resist when the resistance RS is connected to limit the current the voltage across Gina diode is same as output voltage V0. In second mode as long as the voltage across the load register RL is less than Gina voltage Vz, the diode Gina diode does not conduct that is mode 2 V0 is less than Vz. The first mode is V0 equal to Vz when Gina diode connected. When you remove the Gina diode, when Gina diode does not conducting at that moment V0 is less than Vz. For example, if the supply voltage V input is increases, what is the use of Gina diode is to maintain voltage regulation, constant voltage across load. When the supply voltage V input increases, the voltage across the load resistor V0 becomes greater than or equal to Gina breakdown voltage Vz. That is third mode of operation of Gina diode when used as voltage regulator. V0 is greater than or equal to Vz. The working of Gina diode when load resistance RL decreases. When load resistance RL decreases, what happens? The load resistance RL decreases means increases. The decrease in the current through Gina diode. The current through Gina diode will be decreased. As a result of this input current IS and voltage drop across RS remains constant. IS and RS remains constant thereby keeping the load voltage V0 constant. Like that the Gina diode maintains constant voltage across the load.